Hello guys and welcome back to Igniting Illumination and in today's video I'll be drawing and coloring Saitama from One Punch Man. So once again this is going to be the inking and coloring part of the Saitama video that I did which you could check out it will be under my videos you can find it where I do a narration explanation of how I drew it. Now I'll be draw doing the coloring part. So once again, I got the picture onto my phone, reduced the opacity, opacity and now I'm just going through it again with darker lines. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. It's amazing to be able to take a piece of blank paper and what you can really do with it is amazing. You turn it from blank piece of paper into an incredible piece of art that's on it that you created with just a pencil it's simply amazing so once again i hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, oh yeah so let me point out in some parts of the saitama drawing you want the lines to be thicker i don't know if i pointed this out so like the outline of the face you want to be thicker than say the details of the face and the details of the, of the clothing so when you draw the outline, so that's like face, outline of the body, it's thick lines and as you get into details of the face and clothes and stuff, you want to go with thinner lines. So now I'm just adding a peach color to this whole face, neck and uh, any part of the skin that's possible. And once again we're just doing this with a base layer, uh, he's going to have a yellow suit. Uh, su superhero suit here and the mantle is going to be white but we'll add in some shading and so these black buttons that hold his cape down are going to be black just color them in black for now we'll add some shading highlights to that later choose a darker peach color for the shading of the skin and just go in at the top of the head on the right side of his face here as we can see the ears the neck is all going to be shaded and basically the right side of his face and his whole neck except a few lines of uh, where the lines come down for a sternomaster sternocleidomaster I believe it's called now a bit of shading to the left of his nose just to indicate there where that bridge of the nose is and there's going to be a bit of an open space just slightly to the right of his face here his right ear the ear to the right is going to be shaded still though so there's a slight line that to the right that's not going to be shaded and usually we de shaded once oh, so underneath his left eye you also want to make sure and shade you, you don't want to make the lines too dull but make them a bit more sharp so now once again you're going with a bit of a darker color almost brown color to create the third layer of shadowing and you add that to the right side of his nose and we'll also be adding it to the right side underneath the right the eye to the right is where more of the shading is going to take place and we'll see that right here in a second alright so as you can see just cleaning up a bit adding that shadow third layer of shadow to the right side underneath his eye and just slightly on the top side of his eye most of his uh, below his head face is going to be shadow in the third layer except below the collarbones and uh, following the line so it's going to curl out like a few triangles that aren't going to be shaded but a lot of it is it's going to create this kind of lines and kind of show more of a give it more of a real look then so add some gray shadow to the top of the black button holding down the cape the right side do it more on the top as well and near the bottom of it you just want to add in a white highlight the cape we're going to shade it in in gray and 
we're going to create near the edge of the cape is going to be kind of highlighted with uh, more of a white color you add in some highlights and near the base where the black buttons are holding the cape down you want it to be even a darker shade of gray and for yellow you want to go into a second layer of darker yellow and finally a third layer to cover uh, more of the right side of his body in that layer so this has been igniting illumination drawing and coloring Saitama oh and his eyes are brown the iris but remember to add in a slight highlight that's white for the pew for the iris thank you guys for watching igniting illumination i'll see you guys in the next one